We're with Stuart from Titan Motorsport. Thanks for letting us join you at the stand here. No problem, nice to see you. <laughs> now, first of all, you're supposed to tell me off because you're not Titan Motorsport anymore. Uh, that's right, yes, sorry. So, uh, we're no longer Titan Motorsport. We're now known just as Titan. Company is registered exactly the same as it was, um, but we're just trying to move on from being known just as purely motorsport. So, much more involved in automotive, particularly in the niche area. Okay. Automotive, but also defence, aerospace, things like that? Yep, defence, marine, aerospace, um, lots of prototyping and production work as well. So. Now, Stuart, we have done a number of videos for you for Titan before, but if people haven't seen them, can you give me a quick overview of where you are and the machine shop, please? Yeah, certainly. So we're based in St. Neots, Cambridgeshire. Um, we're roughly 80 people, it generally fluctuates. Um, we've got 25 CNCs, that's everything from five axis all the way down to three and two. Um, but we've also got a couple of special machines with regards to sort of the larger components, so forgings, castings, we've got a couple of horizontals to, to really maximise our return on you know, time to make things efficient. Yeah, so the forging and casting ones, for example, you've got a twin pallet, so you can get them 24-7? Yeah, exactly, minimise loading, just make it as efficient as we can, so we're commercially viable. Okay. Now, people can find, you know, see the videos about the machine shop and things like that, but what people will really want to know is what you're manufacturing. You've got some great parts here, so can you talk me through, well, first of all, now I think this is a hydraulic manifold, but correct me if I'm wrong. You are exactly right, so it's a hydraulic manifold from a Formula One car. Um, we did a lot of development work with a client on this, and originally prototyped from aluminium then moved into magnesium to uh, obviously reduce weight um, so yeah there are a lot of lo lot of learning curves lots of um, deep holes small tap holes um, five axis work so it's yeah really nice nice component yeah I gotta say straight away got to be five axis but just looking at the intricacies your pockets threading tapping yeah you name it it's had it on there um, lots of uh, complex uh, shapes as well so um, in particular attention was paid on the surface finish with it being stress raised points as well so yeah really really good part and designed with the help of the client, but in-house? Uh, ultimately, the client had design ownership. Uh, we were assisting particularly on the DFM, so um, we have some really good production engineers that are really keen on uh, maximising their customers' return on the you know, manufacturing time. Okay, now, absolutely cracking component. But also, this, this one here is winking at me as well. What, what's this? Yeah, so this is my personal favourite. Um, so this is a interior component for a supercar. So it's a small production run of about 200. So when you say your favourite, is it come from your own car then? No, not quite, no. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a company car. Um, no, so this, uh, we did a lot of work again on the DFM with the client, particularly with the styling team. Um, so what we're finding is automotive styling teams are now having a large impact on the engineering. So we did a lot of work on here, as you can probably see, on the surface finish, um, particularly on the step over, which has been done to match our cut the carbon fibre fascia that clamps on top. Um, so this ultimately gets anodised in a couple of different colours, depending on the interior option the client would like, um, but it will match the carbon fibre. That's a, a, amazing, well, amazing finish there. But uh, that component there has come from solid billet? From solid aluminium, yes, yeah. so and that's the way it's going to remain um, to get the level of finish that the client needs. So, it's, yeah, really, really special. So, this, I mean, you, you mentioned surface finish, but just looking there, really thin walls and a lot of material removal. Yeah, I think it's about one mil around on the smallest components, so it really was almost like foil. It's, uh, yeah, really good. Yeah, impressive stuff. I mean, those are just two examples of stuff showcasing what Titan can do. But if you can give me a quick summary of Titan, please. Yes, yeah, certainly. So we're, uh, as I mentioned, we're 25 CNCs, 80 people, everything from prototyping motorsport automotive all the way up to uh, automotive high volume. So um, we can cater up to sort of tens of thousands a year. Um, and we also have other facilities that I believe you're going to come and see uh, with regards to the steering assembly sides as well. So, yeah, lots, lots, of, lots of exciting opportunities. Most definitely, Stuart, thank you very much. No problem at all. Thank you.